What's up guys, I'm Dean. welcome back to another episode of Poor Michigan Reviews. Here I am doing more reviews when I said I would not, guys, but we've had some new offerings come in, so I have to break them down for you. We have the brand new Cold Hearted, which is the new IPA in the Box of Hearts pack that Bell's just released to distribution, guys. It's gonna be around $19.99 for a 12 pack retail. I think it's the Cold Hearted, um, Black Hearted, Light Hearted, and Two Hearted, so we have all the hard ales in there guys so this was the newest offering that we could get uh, so obviously we had to get the pack guys so three three and three and three so yeah three six nine twelve there's the 12 pack right there three of each uh package on 1222 uh which is strange because today's the 27th of january so this is over a month old uh, by the time I get it through distribution, but that's okay. I still admire getting a beer within the month. It's a little bit older, a month and a week. Uh, and on the back, guys, we have Under the Frozen Lake swims a fish that's different from any we've seen before. Dry hopped with Centennial during a, during a cold fermentation. This drinkable cold IPA is crisp and refreshing with all the pine and citrus arom aromas you'd expect. It's not a bad, it's not bad being a little cold hearted. So, I'm trying to understand because we have the, the, the fish that we always see for the two heart. Uh, it's on this, but it's frozen in an ice cube kind of thing or an ice berg, if you will. And it's in the shape of a heart. So I actually really like the um, the bottling and, and what it looks like and, and the um, you know design of the label, if you will. Uh, I got to stop saying if you will. I've noticed I've been saying that a lot. But we have a black bells cap on the top, guys. And uh, yeah, so this is a fun one to try to get because you're not going to see this one too often unless they make it a regular six pack offering. Not sure if they're going to do that. Um, but I see that they're using Centennial hops, which is odd because that is what Too Hard it is. So these are clearly a similar recipe, I'd imagine, but maybe they've just changed a little bit in the fermentation process, it looks like. Um, so Centennial hops, I mean, is, how, how is this going to differ from too hearted i guess we're going to talk about it right now guys so when we pour uh it looks like it's it's lighter than your normal too hard it's a little bit um it's definitely hazy it's 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 got haze um <clears throat> it looks a little bit lighter and wow in the light it looks more yellowish but if i go over here it's got more of that dark orangey amber looking hue to it that uh, too hard it does but this doesn't look as dense when i poured it it's got a very fluffy uh Pinky and a half worth of head on top that seems to be sticking lightly to the glass. Um, yeah, but it's it's chill haze and it's got actual haze in the middle of it. So um, it, it's a good looking beer. I'd say that's that's fairly accurate of what this beer looks like. It's probably right about there, guys. Um, but yeah, in the light, you can see it, it's more like that golden yellow. That's strange. Um, but it, it, the angles and the light matters time to time. So cold IPA, not sure what that means. I'm not familiar with that. So... Okay, change the fermentation process. All right, then let's go to the aroma. A little dank, a little resiny pine. A little floral. I don't, I don't get like this bright citrus thing. I, I'm, not, I'm looking for like big citrus and I'm not really getting it. Seems kind of muted. I don't know. It's very slight, like there's a citrusy aroma, but I don't know that I could point it out if I didn't know there were centennial hops in here. It's it's very light. Yeah, let's just go to it. Cheers, guys. It's the cold hearted brand spanking new. Let's check it out. Strange. It is, it is so light through the middle. That is odd. It's very nice and dry, almost like borderline brutish, like um, B43, like the Brute 43. Like it's got that kind of quality to it or like a, a, a an IPL, like India Pale Lager, like some sort of like <clears throat> um, marriage of both styles. Like that's very odd. It's It's got this soft kind of IPA quality. It's got that dank kind of like slight... Uh, um, citrus bitterness that, that hits you on the back end, but it's so light and like fluffy and clean through the uh, front and middle. Um, again, dry, not, not dry as a bone, but it's close. It's close to that. Like again, reminding me of a brute style IPA or just a, a mixture of both like IPL in India pale lager. It's, it's exactly what it reminds me of. <clears throat> Excuse me. 
Yeah, that's so strange. Like, I wouldn't think it was just Centennial hops, I guess. There's a little bit of floral, but it's not, like, overwhelmingly noticeable. It's almost like dank. It's, a, it's almost like a dank brute IPA. It's so strange. Like, it's this light floral, but it's crispy. Uh, it's it, The citrus is straightforward. It's a little bit of like that orange tangerine kind of thing, uh, a little bit of lemon, and then you're hit with like that little dank, like piney thing on the back end that hits you real nice and dry. Um, it, it's it's straightforward. Like this, it's not like it's multi-layered. It's it's very to the point, like crisp, clean, and then you're hit with like a nice dose of piney bitterness on the back end with a nice uh, floral dryness intermixed. Uh, maybe a soft, bready sweetness on the front end, but that goes away just like that. I mean, it's it, it, this is a very good offering. Like I, I wish, I maybe maybe they will make six packs of this. This is very tasty. It's so deceiving from the front and middle. It's it's so light and easy going. Um, yeah, yeah. I mean, even like even like the pine, it's not overwhelming. Um, even to me, the bitterness isn't overwhelming, but I love a good IPA. 7%, this is going down like butter. It literally has this like oily tangerine smoothness and grapefruitiness that goes down, but in the nicest possible way, guys. I mean, 7% all day long. This is um, buttery, buttery, smooth, crisp, clean boy. I mean, it's this is legit, man. I like this beer. Nice clean citrus too. It just it 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 goes. This goes together really well. Again, reminding me of an IPL India Pale Lager. Uh, rating, I like this. This is probably like a four one five out of five, guys. It's a good offering from Bell's, and maybe they will offer this year round eventually, or maybe like as a um, a seasonal offering as well. I'd, I'd accept that. So yeah, cold hearted guys. I enjoy this one. Uh, get it in the new variety pack if you can. It'll probably go really quickly. I'm Dan. Thank you so much for joining me today, guys. And if you could hit that subscribe button. If not, love you anyways. Cheers.